यजन्ते सात्विका देवान् यक्षरक्षा सिराजसा प्रेतान् भूतगणाश्चाने यजन्ते तामसा जना Sattvic people worship the devas, gods, the rajasik, the yakshas and rakshasas, demigods and demons. The others, the tamasik, worship the pretas, ghosts and hosts of bhutas, spirits. Now this sounds, if you take a look at the uh, translation, it sounds very weird. Because then you find that you don't fit into any category. But when you understand the meaning, then, then it becomes uh, interesting. What he's saying is, so when he says sattvic people worship the gods, he means gods. See, when you use the word god in Sanskrit, same word in plural means limited ideal. The same word in singular means capital G-O-D, God. So a sattvic person is one, ideally a sattvic person follows the transcendental, has is, uh, the vision of reality, of that which is beyond the world, of Atman, Brahman. But even if you don't have that, you have a limited idea. But one that is beyond your selfish, self-centered interest is also considered sattvic. A rajasic person worships yakshas and rakshasas demigods and demons. Now where do these demigods and demons come from? It comes from a selfish, self-centered uh, goal in life. See, a sattvic person works for something higher, let's say the environment, um, the welfare of people, works for the poor, lepers, this so, so on and so forth, but not as an end in itself. A sattvic person fixes this higher goal as a means to the end of spiritual evolution. A rajasic person, yakshas and rakshasas, is world-centric. He has no vision of anything beyond the world. Whereas a tamasic person lives in a world of hallucination and imagination. That's what he means by ghosts and spirits. It goes to the extent of even literally, there are people who do, uh, what do you call that, planchet. You heard of that? Um, what else, black magic and stuff like that. That is totally tamasic. But even a person who lives in his own world is totally cut off from the reality of the uh, environment is a tamasic individual. So let's take a look at a sattvic person. A sattvic person has a vision of the transcendental. He acts in the world only to get there. He, otherwise, he is not interested in the world. And he follows the 3D path of dedication, devotion, discrimination, karma yoga, bhakti yoga, jnana yoga. You have examples. You have examples of outstanding musicians like Swami, um, Haridas of Tyagaraja, they were all spiritually evolved people uh, who got there through music. You have examples of um, doctors who work with a sense of dedication, it's a higher ideal, and they work incessantly. They're not focused on a return to themselves. They're not looking at what fees will I earn for myself. They're not looking at name and fame. They're just genuinely driven by the desire to do service to humanity. You have sports persons who are genuinely dedicated to that, their particular field. You have lawyers. I met a lawyer in Bangalore the other day who just takes up um, the cases of poor people who can't afford the fees of a good lawyer, just to ensure that justice prevails. These are sattvic people. Then comes rajasic people. These belong to two categories. The two categories are yakshas, more evolved, 
who have a higher goal, but as an end in itself. Like, um, let's say, a person who wants to uh, find a cure for cancer, but he's so involved. The difference is a sattvic person is detached, a rajasic person is totally involved. Uh, he doesn't understand a, a higher reality beyond himself. Rakshasas are less evolved, they're just selfish, materialistic, and sensual. Now, come to the tamasic people. The tamasic people are totally deluded. They have no idea of the transcendental. They don't even have an idea of the terrestrial. They're not even interested in what's happening in the world. And they live a life of hallucination and imagination. It's like, you know, Hamlet in uh, Shakespeare portrays the character of Hamlet when his father is murdered by his own uncle. And that uncle goes and marries his mother. He is so distraught and so overcome with grief that he withdraws into a world of his own. And thereafter, he goes to his mother's room and says, I see my father's ghost. The mother says, it's vacant air, Hamlet. It's just air. This is the difference. When you live a life of your own imagination and hallucination, you're tamasic, and you don't want to do anything about it. You, you're just lazy, and you live all your life in just idle wishing. So this is the sattva, rajas, and tamas. Now we move to verse 5.